The thermostat lied, then it died. The weatherman frozen mid-sentence on your TV screen is now a permanent art installation. Outside, your neighbor is trying to de-ice his brand new pickup truck with a hair dryer and an extension cord, completely unaware that his hair has the same brittle consistency as a frozen noodle. This isn't a cold snap. This is the Great Reset, the Big Chill. The planet just decided to become its own ice cube, and everyone is auditioning for the role of a prehistoric mammoth frozen in a block of ice. But not you. While the rest of the world is busy becoming a permanent part of the landscape, we're going to survive using physics, desperation, and the contents of a recycling bin. 1. The Gospel of Garbage Your $1,000 winter jacket? Cute. It's a fashion statement from a world that had central heating. The real secret to not freezing isn't expensive gear, it's trapped air. Dead air is the greatest insulator on the planet, and it doesn't care if it's trapped in goose down or a crumpled up newspaper. The new height of fashion is trash. Rip up cardboard boxes, shred old newspapers, gather dry leaves. Now, stuff it all between your shirt and your jacket. Shove it down your pants. You will look like a lumpy, ridiculous scarecrow. You will rustle when you walk. Your neighbor in his stylishly thin parka will laugh at you, and then he will freeze to death, becoming the world's best-dressed corpse. You, on the other hand, will be warm. It's not about looking good. It's about not dying while looking stupid. 2. The calorie is a furnace. Forget everything you know about a balanced diet. That's advice from a warm world. In a frozen hellscape, your body isn't a temple. It's a blast furnace, and calories are the coal. You're no longer eating for health or pleasure. You're eating to generate BTUs. Fat is now the most valuable currency on Earth. A stick of butter is a solid gold bar. A jar of peanut butter is the national treasury. Sugar is rocket fuel. While others are politely rationing their canned green beans, you will be the one eating lard with a spoon, if you have to. Your body burns fuel to make heat. The more fuel, the more heat. It's that simple. Let the others nibble on rice cakes and wonder why their fingers are turning black. You'll be the warm one, powered by pure, unadulterated grease. 3. Metal is the enemy Here's a fun science lesson. Metal is a heat vampire. It doesn't get cold, it actively sucks the warmth out of you with terrifying efficiency. Touching a bare metal doorknob isn't just unpleasant, it's an act of thermal self-harm. You can get frostbite in seconds. The new rule? Never touch bare metal, ever. Wrap your tools in duct tape, wear gloves to open a can of food, that aluminum baseball bat you thought was a great weapon, it's now a magic wand that makes your hands die. Your car is a 4,000-pound heatsink. Huddling inside it for warmth is like trying to get warm by hugging an iceberg. You'll just make the iceberg slightly less of an iceberg while you turn into a human popsicle. 4. The Tyranny of the Tiny Room Your house is no longer home. It's a thermally useless box with a hundred different ways to leak heat. Trying to heat your whole house is like trying to boil the ocean with a single match. It's a fool's errand. The new strategy? Retreat. Pick one room, the smallest one. A bathroom, a pantry, a walk-in closet. Drag your mattress in there, cover the windows with blankets, cardboard, and anything you can find. Block the door draft with cowls. You are no longer living in a house. You're living in a human-sized nest. Your own body heat, a piddly hundred watts, is now your only furnace. In a big room, it's nothing. In a tiny, insulated space, it's the difference between shivering and surviving. Let your neighbor enjoy his spacious, frozen living room. You'll be the one living to see another sub-zero sunrise from the comfort of your closet kingdom. The cold doesn't care if you were a good person. It doesn't care about your 401k. It's an impersonal, unstoppable force. But it follows rules, the rules of physics. And if you understand those rules, you can bend them. You can use them. You can survive, not because you're stronger, but because you're smarter. Now go find some cardboard. Your pants are looking a little thin.